Alrighty, yo. Welcome back to another video of mine. Thank you for coming back. So today I'm in the kitchen um, in front of this fridge. It's just a normal refrigerator. It's not mine. It's the apartment's. But I keep something live in there. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys because it's fish related and that would be cool for you guys to see. So let's get into it. So we're going to be taking a look down here. This is my fish section. I keep the food in here. Refrigerate your fish food. It's food still. So you don't want it going bad. Sponsor me Hikari or not. Yeah. Food. And the ones that we wanted to talk about today. Yay. Alrighty. So here they are. This guy. Look at the look at the lettuce and plants that they all ate. It's all warm. On the sides as well. It's food. That actually looks gross. Look at that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I wanted to redo my other boxes because they seem to be failing. These guys. Um, and I wanted to show you guys what I put in there and yeah, let's go. Alright, so you can use just regular typical soil, but today I wanted to try the Eco Earth and it's the coconut fibers. The leftovers from what I use. So these guys are dry. But if you put water in it, it'll just blow up. I'm not going to be using all of it. I know that because it expands like crazy. And so I'm just going to wet it a little bit on one side. And hopefully it breaks down. So I broke it all up and there's not much still for me to use later. I, I'm gonna add some more water. And I'm using uh, drinking water. I don't like using tap for these guys. I think, it, I think they do better with drinking water so that's just a tip for you guys. Until they're all broken apart and I want them kind of wet they have to be a little bit on the wet side just with that much I was able to get this whole ton of soil so it's really worth uh, buying if you're into these stuff you can use this even for uh, planting so it's really nice I'll just show you one box. Interesting. You'll see tiny, tiny worms. Um, so the culture is still okay. Um, if I were to add some food in here, um, this would come back alive. But I'm going to be mixing some of these soil into here just to keep it that new new start there it is I mixed the the previous soil inside and the new one and what you do here I'm not gonna put the glass back in it's kinda gross swab I'm just gonna swab some culture just gonna take some of these out too Here's like a good culture of them. Even this will go crazy um, within days. I'm just going to spread them out evenly. Quick explanation about the lids. I poked a little bit of holes in the lids. 
and put some I, I just used some filter materials to cover the holes up just so the worms don't come on and nothing goes inside so I just finished cleaning all the bins and mixing all the soils with the worms in it so it's a new batch of uh, soil with uh, with the previous culture of worms and now I'm gonna add some uh, expired bread into each of them they really like the food wet so I'm just gonna put some water on there beep 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 alright so yeah so when you touch it it has to be wet you can put uh, veggies like you saw in my one before I put some leftover salad in there please don't put dressings in there um, don't put dairy don't put meat some fruits are okay I think just don't let it sit in there for too long but I think they like the bread the most yeah and you're good to go uh, make sure to clean the sides of the bin just cause you're going to be harvesting the worms when they come up when they crawl up to the sides yeah that's it and you only got to do that every once every few months back into the fridge bam We'll see how they do.